How did you feel spiritually and emotionally as a Satanist as compared to now? I get asked that question quite a bit. Um, spiritually and emotionally as a Satanist, it's kind of different when you're in it versus now that I'm out of it looking back. When I was in it, there were times when I felt evil. I felt what I was doing was wrong on some level, but it was my job. And I kind of looked at it as, well, you know, like the, the German soldiers that took orders to do what they had to do. Why are we mad at them for doing that? That was their job. You know, obviously I realized being on this side of it that that was wrong. That God is the higher law. But, you know, at the time, I thought everything was good. But then, I mean, there were times, like, I mean, I've explained it, you know, sinning is like working in a candy store. You know, when you first get there, all the colors and the bright lights and the nice smells and the amazing candy is amazing. And then after you've been there for a month and you've tried everything once, it's no longer quite amazing. You know, I was in that spot for 12 years. You know, and in organized Satanism. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, you feel a lot less than amazing. And there's a major drought in your system. You're trying to fill it with everything you possibly can, except that you don't know that you're missing God. You know, God is what it is that's missing from your life, but you have no clue of that. You just know that if you bought another big screen TV, or another 100 videos, or, you know, it filled up your iPad or your, your iTunes or, you know, your iPod, I mean, and, uh, or, you know, if you just, if you took more drugs or if you had more sex or if you just did enough sinning, you'd fill it. But even after so many years of that and being disgusted with myself, I was still doing the same old, same old because well, I'd always done it. You know, it made me feel great 12 years prior. Why isn't it working now? And then came a, an awesome, eye-changing conversion. Just life-altering. It was, it was the literal difference of walking in darkness and discovering that if you walk through a certain set of doors, there's light. You know, it was going from being in a desert with absolutely no water, not even sweat, to plunging into an ocean. You know, from from going to or a place where everyone is starving to death to having a huge buffet laid out before you. In realizing that there are emotions out there that are not the drought. It's not death. You know, that there is happiness and joy. Things I had never experienced as a Satanist. Never thought those things were possible. It wasn't even aware when people would talk about joy. I was just like, what are you talking about? Like, I had never felt that. I thought that was fake. You know, I thought when I saw some Christian acting and talking about the joy in their life and in their heart, I thought they're lying. You know, that, that's got to be a fake emotion that can't be true. You know, now, I mean, I cannot adequately express the emotions and what I go through now. There just, there isn't, I don't have the proper verbiage. You know, I went to college for X number of years, and I wrote some pretty good papers back in the day. Um, although I, I do like to tell people that my... I feel I graduated so long ago, my degree has expired. Um, I just don't have the proper vocabulary to express all the emotions and what, what, my, what my soul does now, how I feel, um, what, what I'm going through. I mean, it's, I'm in an amazing place now, you know, and eight or nine years ago, I was not in an amazing place. I was heading straight for hell. I, I was standing on the abyss of hell, eyes wide open, ready to step right in. And the Blessed Mother came along, plucked me from that edge, and said, Nope, not today. You're mine. 